What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be going through the top nine Clone Wars sets. These are some sets that I've got, some sets that I haven't got. Eventually, I want to get them all in my collection. Clone Wars is what got me into LEGO Star Wars, that's why I'm watching this video. And tell me down below guys, what you think is your favourite Clone Wars set. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and subscribe button down below and let's get in to the video. Number 10 on the list is going to be 9515, The Malevolence. Now this set looks awesome i really wish i managed to pick this set up it's one of the few ones that i never did pick up for my collection it's got some cool characters it's got general grievous got count dooku got anakin got a couple of droids and another character not quite sure who that character is but this is an awesome set nowadays you can pick the set up for 145 pounds so it's not gone up too crazily in price but that is used obviously not new it's a great looking set like I say lego never really made separatist ships so it's really awesome to get a big separatist ship obviously to go against the republic frigate or the venator so awesome lego star Wars set and that is why it's number 10 on the list Number 9 on the list, it had to be included, and that is going to be the 501st Battle Pack. One of my favourite sets to come out since I've started collecting LEGO Star Wars again. Awesome set. Like I say, it's kind of a shame that it's not just like a £15 Battle Pack, but £15 Battle Packs are becoming not a thing these days. Awesome set. Obviously, you get lots of 501st Troopers. It's quite cool that you get two vehicles, but obviously, that's just a ploy for LEGO to sell it for more really but awesome set and this set is obviously one you can still get right now and i thought i had to add it to the collection because for me it is definitely one of the top 10 clone wars sets number eight on the list is a set that was one of my favorite sets growing up one of the first sets i saved up all my pocket money to get the seven six seven five attte this set is an absolute banger absolutely loved it the only thing is the interior is a bit odd it works it's good it's functional but like i say this is one of my favorite lego star wars sets growing up and it is one i definitely got in my collection that i'm super happy about nowadays you can pick up the set but it's going to be 194 pounds comes with some great characters comes with little baby jabba the hawk which is an absolute awesome character not in any other set i don't think but yeah Awesome set, I'm super glad I got it. I wish I had more, but it's okay because Lego are bringing out more ATTEs in like every five years. Number seven on my list is going to be a set that I wish I had in my collection so bad. Ju not just for the build, but for the characters. We have got Phase 1 Wolfpack Troopers and Commander Wolfie in there, which is absolutely awesome. Those figures alone now go for like 45 to £50 pounds each, which is just ridiculous. I really wish I had them in my collection. But the set itself, awesome. It's got an escape pod, got some really cool features. And I just wish I had this set in my collection. Like I say, I'm trying to look on eBay regularly, see if I can see a good deal. But at the moment, the average price is around £270. £17 and when the set came out it was just over 100 so it's just gone up in crazy crazy price number six on the list is a set that I wish I could go back to 10 year old me and say oi you buy as many of these sets as physically possible it is the original clone walker battle pack in my god this set is beautiful i don't think we appreciated it when it was out at the time i definitely don't think i did because Army building was like such a new thing. Just having two battle packs was an army when you're 10 years old. So I wish I could go back to myself and say, buy as many of these as you can. They're going to be one worth a fortune when you're older. And two, it is one of the best battle packs to this day. It is, in my opinion, the battle best battle pack to this day but i think it was like 10 pounds at the time was it or like 11.99 which is just crazy for any lego star wars set at the moment but you got three plain white clone troopers obviously you got the armor so you technically had a commander but you could unmake the commander and then you had a clone gunner awesome awesome set like i say every now and again i try and see if there's any deals i did actually buy one a couple of months ago might have been about six months ago now i managed to find a good deal on ebay which is good but like i say that was 25 pounds and they used to be 11 pounds so it's such a shame that i couldn't get any and yeah that is number six one of my favorite sets to ever come out 
Next on the list is going to be the Clone Wars gunship. And my god, this set is an oldie but goldie. I absolutely love this set. When it first came out, it had so many features. It had the back to tank, had the command station, had the speeder, had the little probe droids in the roof, had the little side pockets for the clone troopers. It was just an awesome set. It came with some awesome characters. It came with the Commander Cody, which we were all hyped about a phase two Commander Cody. It came with a Sarge Ventress, awesome character, a Plu Koon, I think was this the first set. Plu Koon came in, an Obi-Wan Kenobi and a clone trooper, such a good set, and back in the day it was £80, I got it for my birthday, I remember when I got it, it I was so, so, so excited, I did £80 back in the day, imagine having this set for £80 nowadays, everyone would go mad, it would be an awesomely hyped set, and yeah, this set is one of my favourites in my real collection. Next on the list is the clone turbo tank. In my god, this set looks absolutely awesome. It's a set that I missed out on because I wasn't collecting Lego Star Wars at the time, which is a real shame. But it's a set that I really, really wish I had in my collection. I wish I had a couple of them, to be honest, because they look absolutely freaking awesome. Some cool characters in there. A couple of clones. Cad Bane. Ahsoka. I can't remember the other Jedi. But awesome, awesome set nonetheless. Like I say, I wish I had this set. You can pick up these days for around 160 pounds so it's about 50 pounds more than it was when it came out which isn't a crazy amount but that is used remember but it is a shame i am actively looking on ebay to try and pick up one of these sets but these days there's not much going on on ebay so i will get it eventually i is on my must wants of you sets and yeah awesome set really really wish i had it Second to last on this list is going to be the Venator, and my god this set is absolutely beautiful. This is one of those sets where I just had stopped, or not stopped, I was still browsing for Lego Star Wars sets, but I was just slowing down on collecting Lego, and now I really, really, really wish I picked it up, and that is the Venator. Palpatine himself is super cool, and then you have the two Senate clone troopers which is absolutely awesome back in the day they were like super cool everybody wanted them and then the set comes with some awesome features the whole set lifts up we're still waiting for a new one i reckon i think lego eventually will remake the venator whether it's an episode two one it probably will be but yeah super super awesome set really really wish i had it in my collection in these days you can get it for 215 pounds i think when it came out it was around 110 something like that so it's gone up a considerable a lot of money but it is such an awesome looking set last but not least on the list i think this is the top nine not a top 10 now i've just realized it is the atot with dropship one of the best full stop lego store sets to come out period all time super exciting i was collecting lego stores when this set came out but it was just too expensive at the time my family didn't have the money it was quite expensive it's around 180 pounds i think when it came out but nowadays that is like a average price lego star wars set really really wish i got it now you're looking at around 600 pound used to buy this set and you will be very lucky to even get one at that price and then brand new if you want a sealed republic dropship with atot you are looking at over a thousand pounds which is just mind-boggling for a lego star wars set but this set is a one of a kind lego i don't think will ever ever do this again because simply they will i the price will be too too expensive you're talking about this is probably a 350 pound play set nowadays which is just crazy those are only usually for the ucs sets these days but super super awesome looking set and i really really wish i could get it one day i don't know if i ever will because of simply the price and they're so rare but honestly maybe i'll try and part one out or something on britlink but this set is my number one top favorite clone wars set thanks for watching this video guys if you enjoyed it remember to like and subscribe button down below lots more lego star wars content coming out very very shortly be sure to check out the channel for all the august 1st videos they should be on there if they're not they'll be coming out very very soon so yeah i'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.